Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. So a couple of days ago on my channel I put up a video on the Razer Raiju controller and whether or not control freaks actually fit on this controller. There is no official Razer Raiju control freak, so people have been trying different ones to see which actually fit and I covered all that information in my original video. However, a couple of days after recording that video, I removed the control freak and I noticed that it left some small indentations on the top of the thumbsticks of my Razer Raiju controller and I'm showing you some images of that now. So I thought the proper thing to do was just to warn you about this. I didn't want to risk putting a comment in the description of the original video or putting a small note in the comment section because people may not actually see that. So I thought the proper thing to do was remove the original video, put up this new intro showing you the potential risks and then my full video is going to follow after I'm finished talking at the moment and you can decide whether or not this is going to be an issue to yourself or not and you can decide if you want to put on a control freak or not to the Razer Raju controller. So I thought this was the best way to do things. You can see the potential risks at the start of the video and then you can now watch my original video about control freaks and the Razer Raju controller. Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I want to make a video covering everything you need to know about the Razer Raju controller and whether or not control freaks actually fit on the thumbsticks. This is something that I've been asked so many times and I think some people are holding off buying the controller because they don't know or they don't think that control freaks will actually fit. So I want to cover everything you need to know in this particular video. Now the reason for wanting control freaks, some people obviously prefer these over the standard thumbsticks in a controller. Potentially they offer more height to give some extra control and they also offer potentially some more grip over the top of the standard thumbstick. Two very good reasons for actually wanting these. Now, regarding the Razer Raiju controller, it is of course a PS4 controller and we've got a few options. So, when you buy the controller, you get two of these thumb grips. These are optional, you can put them on or remove them. I personally am not a fan of these. I think they get a bit slippy after use. They actually just feel slidey when you put your thumb in them. And in terms of the actual part that is in contact with the top of the thumbstick, I would say it's only roughly like a millimeter thick. So we can put those out of the way because I don't think they offer any more grip and they certainly don't offer much in terms of additional height. This is a PS4 controller. Here we've got a PS4 control freak. This is the actual alpha model. The connections in the bottom are all the same so it doesn't matter the actual particular brand or make of the control freak. But it's a PS4 one and these do not fit on the Razer Raiju. Now the reason for that is that these are designed for the DualShock 4 and the surface area around here of the Razer Raiju controller is slightly larger than a DualShock 4. So these do not fit. You can try and use brute force to put them on but you're probably just going to damage the control freak and if you can force them on you're going to move these little edges out and it's not going to fit securely so no matter how hard you try unless you like remove these parts and physically stick it on to the controller PS4 control freaks do not work on the Razer Raiju. Now however if you look at my controller here I do have a control freak on it and I've been using this one for about four hours and it is working very well. Now I'm just trying my best to let you see that but hopefully you can see there that it is fitting very securely onto the controller. It has not moved and it actually fits better on this controller than the controller it was designed for. So which control freak am I actually using? This is a PS3 or an Xbox 360 control freak. This is the CQC model. Again the model doesn't matter, they, they all connect onto the controller the same way. But this fits on pretty nicely. Now I had a little bit of work to get it onto the actual controller. It doesn't just fit on perfectly. You need a little bit of force and you need to maneuver it around to make sure it's sitting level on top of the controller. But once on I've been playing for about four hours giving it a very good test and it has not moved at all. So I'm very pleased with this and if you're someone that wants to use a control freak on the Razer Raiju controller you can do so but you need to purchase a PS3 or an Xbox 360, they fit both controllers, that is the model that you actually need to buy. Don't buy a PS4 one as they do not fit. So I hope that actually helps you out 
and maybe it makes you quite happy if you're someone that wants to use control freaks and you can now purchase this controller and know that you do have an option to fit one on if you so wish. Thanks so much for watching my video and I'll see you soon for another one.